In computer chess, a chess engine is a computer program that analyzes chess or chess variant positions, and generates a move or list of moves that it regards as strongest. A chess engine is usually a back-end with a command line interface with no graphics nor windowing. Engines are usually used with a front end, a windowed graphical user interface such as Chessbase or Winboard that the user can interact with via a keyboard, mouse or touchscreen. This allows the user to play against multiple engines without learning a new user interface for each, and allows different engines to play against each other. Over the last years, there are chess engines available for mobile phones and tablets, which makes their usage easier. The list includes chess engines like Stockfish, Komodo, Texel, Bagatour and many others. Topic History The meaning of the phrase chess engine has evolved over time. In 1986, Linda and Tony Scherzer entered the program Bebe into the Fourth World Computer Chess Championship, running it on Chess Engine, the brand name for the chess computer hardware made, and marketed by their company Sys10, Inc. By 1990, the developers of Deep Blue, Fung Sung HSU and Murray Campbell were writing of giving their program a searching engine, apparently referring to the software rather than the hardware. In December 1991, Computer Shack and Spieler is referring to Chessbase's recently released Fritz as a Shack Motor, the German translation for Chess Engine. By early 1993, Marty Hirsch was drawing a distinction between commercial chess programs such as Chessmaster 3000 or Battle Chess on the one hand, and chess engines such as Chess Genius or his own McHess Pro on the other. In his characterization, commercial chess programs were low in price, had fancy graphics, but did not place high on the SSDF Swedish Chess Computer Association rating lists while engines were more expensive, and did have high ratings. In 1994, Shea Bushinsky was working on an early version of his junior program. He wanted to focus on the chess playing part rather than the graphics, and so asked Tim Mann how he could get Junior to communicate with Winboard. Tim's answer formed the basis for what became known as the Chess Engine Communication Protocol or Winboard Engines. Also in 1994, Stephen J. Edwards released the Portable Game Notation (PGN) specification. It mentions PGN reading programs not needing to have a full chess engine. It also mentions three graphical user interfaces: GUI, XBoard, PGN Read, and Slappy the database. Topic. Interface protocol Common winboard engines would include Crafty, Prodeo based on Rebel, Chouinard, Zarkov and Phalanx. In 1995, Chessbase released a version of their database program including Fritz 4 as a separate engine. This was the first appearance of the Chessbase protocol. Soon after, they added the engines Junior and Shredder to the product lineup, including engines in CB protocol as separate programs which could be installed in the Chessbase program or one of the other Fritz-style GUIs. Fritz 1-14 were only issued as Chessbase engines, while Hyx, Nimzo, Chess Tiger and Crafty have been ported to Chessbase format even though they were UCI or Winboard engines. Recently, Chessbase has begun to include UCI engines in their playing programs such as Komodo, Houdini, Fritz 15-16 and Rybka rather than convert them to Chessbase engines. In 2000, Stefan Meyer Carlin and Franz Huber released the Universal Chess Interface, a more detailed protocol that introduced a wider set of features. Chessbase soon after dropped support for Winboard engines, and added support for UCI to their engine GUIs and Chessbase programs. Most of the top engines are UCI these days, Stockfish, Komodo, Leela Chess Zero, Houdini, Fritz 15-16, Rybka, Shredder, Fruit, Critter, Ivanhoe and Ruffian. From 1998, the German company Millennium 2000 briefly moved from dedicated chess computers into the software market, developing the Millennium Chess System MCS protocol for a series of CDs containing Chess Genius or Shredder, but after 2001 ceased releasing new software. 
A more long-standing engine protocol has been used by the Dutch company, Lockersoft, which eventually took over the marketing of Ed Schroeder's Rebel. Increasing strength Chess engines increase in playing strength each year. This is partly due to the increase in processing power that enables calculations to be made to ever greater depths in a given time. In addition, programming techniques have improved, enabling the engines to be more selective in the lines that they analyze and to acquire a better positional understanding. A chess engine often uses a vast previously computed opening book to increase its playing strength for the first several moves up to possibly 20 moves or more in deeply analyzed lines. Some chess engines maintain a database of chess positions, along with previously computed evaluations and best moves, in effect, a kind of dictionary of recurring chess positions. Since these positions are pre-computed, the engine merely plays one of the indicated moves in the database, thereby saving compute time, resulting in stronger, more rapid play. Some chess engines use endgame tablebases to increase their playing strength during the endgame. An endgame tablebase includes all possible endgame positions with small groups of material. Each position is conclusively determined as a win, loss, or draw for the player whose turn it is to move, and the number of moves to the end with best play by both sides. The tablebase identifies for every position the move which will win the fastest against an optimal defense, or the move that will lose the slowest against an optimal offense. Such tablebases are available for all chess endgames with seven pieces or fewer trivial endgame positions are excluded, such as six white pieces versus a lone black king, when the maneuvering in an ending to achieve an irreversible improvement takes more moves than the horizon of calculation of a chess engine, an engine is not guaranteed to find the best move without the use of an endgame tablebase, and in many cases can fall foul of the 50-move rule as a result. Many engines use permanent brain continuing to calculate during the opponent's turn as a method to increase their strength. Distributed computing is also used to improve the software code of chess engines. In 2013, the developers of the Stockfish chess playing program started using distributed computing to make improvements in the software code. As of June 2017, a total of more than 745 years of CPU time has been used to play more than 485 million chess games, with the results being used to make small and incremental improvements to the chess playing software. <laughs> <laughs> Limiting an engine's strength By the late 1990s, the top engines had become so strong that few players stood a chance of winning a game against them. To give players more of a chance, engines began to include settings to adjust or limit their strength. In 2000, when Stefan Mayer Carlin and Franz Huber released the Universal Chess Interface Protocol, they included the parameters UCI underscore limit strength and UCI underscore ELO, allowing engine authors to offer a variety of levels rated in accordance with ELO rating. Most GUIs for UCI engines allow users to set this ELO rating within the menus. Even engines that have not adopted this parameter will sometimes have an adjustable strength parameter e.g. Stockfish. Engines which have a UCI underscore ELO parameter include Houdini, Fritz 15-16, Rybka, Shredder, Hyx, Junior, Zappa and Sieng. GUIs such as Shredder, Chess Assistant, Convector Aquarium, Hyx Chess Explorer or Martin Bloom's Arena have drop-down menus for setting the engine's UCI underscore ELO parameter. The Fritz family GUIs, Chess Assistant and Aquarium also have independent means of limiting an engine's strength apparently based on an engine's ability to generate ranked lists of moves called multi-PV for principal variation. Topic. Comparisons Topic. Tournaments 
The results of computer tournaments give one view of the relative strengths of chess engines. However, tournaments do not play a statistically significant number of games for accurate strength determination. In fact, the number of games that need to be played between fairly evenly matched engines, in order to achieve significance, runs into the thousands and is, therefore, impractical within the framework of a tournament. Most tournaments also allow any types of hardware, so only engine-hardware combinations are being compared. Historically, commercial programs have been the strongest engines. If an amateur engine wins a tournament or otherwise performs well for example, Zappa in 2005, then it is quickly commercialized. Titles gained in these tournaments garner much prestige for the winning programs, and are thus used for marketing purposes. Dutch Open Computer Chess Championship Internet Computer Chess Tournament CCT, International Paderborn Computer Chess Championship North American Computer Chess Championship Top Chess Engine Championship TCEC, World Computer Chess Championship World Computer Speed Chess Championship Ratings Chess engine rating lists aim to provide statistically significant measures of relative engine strength. These lists play multiple games between engines on standard hardware platforms, so that processor differences are factored out. Some also standardize the opening books, in an attempt to measure the strength differences of the engines only. These lists not only provide a ranking, but also margins of error on the given ratings. Also rating lists typically play games continuously, publishing many updates per year, compared to tournaments which only take place annually. There are a number of factors that vary among the chess engine rating lists. Time control. Longer time controls, such as 40 moves in 120 minutes, are better suited for determining tournament play strength, but also make testing more time-consuming. Hardware used. Faster hardware with more memory leads to stronger play. 64-bit versus 32-bit hardware and operating systems favor bitboard-based programs. Multiprocessor versus single processor hardware. Ponder settings, speculative analysis while the opponent is thinking, aka permanent brain. Transposition table sizes. Opening book settings, these differences affect the results, and make direct comparisons between rating lists difficult. Note that the listings in the above table only count the best entry for a given engine. These ratings, although calculated by using the ELO system or similar rating methods, have no direct relation to FIED ELO ratings or to other Chess Federation ratings of human players. Except for some man versus machine games which the SSDF had organized many years ago which were far from today's level, there is no calibration between any of these rating lists and player pools. Hence, the results which matter are the ranks and the differences between the ratings, and not the absolute values. Also, each list calibrates their ELO via a different method. Therefore, no ELO comparisons can be made between the lists. Missing from many rating lists are IPPOLIT and its derivatives. Although very strong and open source, there are allegations from commercial software interests that they were derived from disassembled binary of RIBCA. Due to the controversy, all these engines have been blacklisted from many tournaments and rating lists. Ribka in turn was accused of being based on fruit, and in June 2011, the ICGA formally claimed Ribka was derived from fruit and crafty and banned Ribka from the International Computer Games Association World Computer Chess Championship, and revoked its previous victories 2007, 2008, 2009, and 2010. The ICGA received some criticism for this decision. Ribka is still included on several society ranking lists. Top chess engine ratings have been improving at about 20 ELO per year since the advent of the CCRL rating list in 2005, and the yearly increment does not appear to be decreasing. 
With the December 2017 debut of the AlphaZero chess engine, based on its spectacular record of success against Stockfish 8 giving it a speculative rating about 150 points higher or 3,575, the question has been raised what the ELO rating would be of an engine that plays perfect chess. Statistician and chessmaster Ken Regan estimates that over the human international FIDE player pool, that number might be 3,600 ELO, though that number is not directly comparable to engine ratings. However, the few man-machine matches played since 1997 have led theorists to recognize that some deflation in engine ratings has apparently occurred relative to human ELO scales, amounting to about 100 ELO points. That means for example that a human would have to be rated 100 ELO points stronger than an engine to achieve comparable play. <laughs> Test suites Engines can be tested by measuring their performance on specific positions. Typical is the use of test suites where for each given position there is one best move to find. These positions can be geared towards positional, tactical or endgame play. The Nollet test suite, for instance, focuses on deep sacrifices. The BT2450 and BT2630 test suites measure the tactical capability of a chess engine and have been used by Rebel. There is also a general test suite called Brilliancy which was compiled mostly from how to reassess your chess workbook. The Strategic Test Suite STS tests an engine's strategical strength. Another modern test suite is Nightmare 2 which contains 30 chess puzzles. Topic: <laughs> Kasparov versus the World chess game played with computer assistance. In 1999, Gary Kasparov played a chess game Kasparov vs. the World", over the Internet, hosted by the MSN Gaming Zone. Both sides used computer chess engine assistance. The ''World Team'' included participation of over 50,000 people from more than 75 countries, deciding their moves by plurality vote. The game lasted four months, ending after Kasparov's 62nd move when he announced a force checkmate in 28 moves found with the computer program Deep Junior. The world team voters resigned on October 22. After the game Kasparov said, It is the greatest game in the history of chess. The sheer number of ideas, the complexity, and the contribution it has made to chess make it the most important game ever played. Topic. Engines for chess variants Some chess engines have been developed to play chess variants, adding the necessary code to simulate non-standard chess pieces, or to analyze play on non-standard boards. CHESSV and Fairy Max, for example, are both capable of playing variants on a chessboard up to 12 times 8 in size, such as Capablanca Chess 10 times 8 board. For larger boards however, there are few chess engines that can play effectively, and indeed chess games played on an unbounded chessboard infinite chess are virtually untouched by chess playing software. Graphical user interfaces Xboard, Winboard was one of the earliest graphical user interfaces Tim Mann created it basically to provide a GUI for the new chess engine, but after that, other engines such as Crafty appeared which used the Winboard protocol. Eventually, the program Chessmaster included the option to import other Winboard engines in addition to the King engine which was included. In 1995, Chessbase began offering the Fritz engine as a separate program within the Chessbase database program and within the Fritz GUI. Soon after, they added the Junior and Shredder engines to the product lineup, packaging them within the same GUI as was used for Fritz. 
In the late 1990s, the Fritz GUI was able to run windboard engines via an adapter, but after 2000, Chessbase simply added support for UCI engines, and no longer invested much effort in windboard. In 2000, Stefan Meyer Carlin started selling Shredder in a separate UCI GUI of his own design, allowing UCI or windboard engines to be imported into it. Convector's Chess Assistant and Locusoft's Chess Partner also added the ability to import windboard and UCI engines into their products. Shane Hudson developed Shane's Chess Information Database, a free GUI for Linux, Mac and Windows. Martin Bloom developed Arena, another free GUI for Linux and Windows. Lucas Monge entered the field with the free Lucas Chess GUI. All three can handle both UCI and windboard engines. Recently on Android, AART BIC came out with Chess for Android, another free GUI, and Gerhard Collab's Chess PGN Master and Peter Osterlund's Droidfish can also serve as GUIs for engines. See the Computer Chess Wiki for an extensive list of Chess GUIs. Topic. See also. Chess variants Computer chess Correspondence chess Internet chess server List of chess software Notes <laughs>